it was actually illegal to go to school with like, I don't know. And we're back with another one. We're back with another band. This is going to be the fastest intro ever. Please subscribe. We're close to 20,000. Please hit me up on Patreon for exclusive content, blog content, behind the scenes. Please make sure to check me out on Teespring. And now, here we go. This goes out to you, Rick Bennett, one of my dearest patrons. Thank you very much, Rick, for the support. This goes out to you. You wanted it. Here you go. Journey with Kuhu Tech. <laughs> Kuhu Tech. Man, you guys are killing me with those names. Anyways, live in Osaka, 1980. And I heard the name Journey before a million times. Never heard a song. At least that's what I think. I never really intentionally heard a song or listened to a song. Let's dive right in. Here we go. Definitely a throwback, 1980. I wasn't even born there, but let's do this. Let's go. And here we go. Yeah, you can tell it's an old song, old video. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Keep it real here. Thank you. By the way, this is a really interesting time. 1980 was right the transition, you know, from Black Sabbath, Judas Priest, all those bands to crazier bands such as Metallica, Slayer, Megadeth. So that was a really interesting time frame, especially 1980, How long has Journey been around, man? Because they don't really look that young in that video. Nice riff. This is awesome and keep in mind back then this was really heavy music seriously black sabbath judas priest motorhead those bands even the who and led zeppelin pink floyd i mean those were the nowadays slayers and metallicas and slipknots and almost cannibal almost cannibal corpses so that was really heavy music at that time Yeah! I mean, that guitar player reminds me so much of Buckethead, man, the way he's placed. Yeah. Right, they're getting crazy now, man. Mm -hmm. 
Man, who is the guitar player? I have to know his name, man. I probably know his name. That's insane. He's amazing. And one thing, this is all to all you musicians, especially guitar players. Man, so many times I have had this discussion with musicians, guitar players in particular. A lot of people were like, nah, you need to be fancy. You need to like play something so complex to basically to show off and let everyone know that you're an awesome guitar player. There is that group of guitar players. And then of course, we have the second group that I think, me personally, I enjoy a lot more. And he actually did it a few seconds, a few minutes ago, is actually really letting the music speak for itself. So what I mean by that is he's including a lot of effects on the tone, working with pedals, work, working with everything, basically. And that's the best thing, because the end solution, in my opinion, should be how it sounds, not how complex it was written, how complex you're actually performing that, because that sometimes can be really distracting. And sometimes, I'm gonna break it to you, it doesn't even sound good. So I prefer those kind of solos, and he was really amazing. Really reminds me of Buckethead. We need to include a Buckethead video soon on my channel. This guy's nuts. An interesting band, by the way, because I don't think they have a singer. I think it's just instrumental. Awesome. Man, he's not even looking. It's just like, oh, okay. I was about to say it should be illegal the way how good he plays guitar and actually how high he went but i think the only criminal act they performed here they committed was actually deciding to wear those clothes <laughs> yep exactly those clothes what's wrong with the camera man he's like yeah All right, guys, that was Journey, and what a journey that was, by the way, with the song Kuhutek. Maybe that means Kuhutek, because that song was ridiculous, man. This just really made me want to look up this band, see who this band is. Oh, actually seeing a thumbnail where the guitar player is singing, so I guess they have songs with vocals as well. That song, Rick, I know why you choose that song, man. That was really something else. And again, I always have to think that this has been exactly 40 years ago. 40 years ago. At that time, well, we didn't have the catalog of bands and genres that we have nowadays. So this was so shocking back then. I remember even before that, that Elvis was something at the beginning, you know, something, well, negative, something bad. You know, when you dance like him, it was almost like worshiping the devil, of course, at the beginning. So a few years later, you know, experiencing bands such as Black Sabbath, even, I mean, come on, even the name Black Sabbath, or Judas Priest, and then creating music like that, man, those times have probably been a lot of fun. <laughs> because you were just shocking everyone. I think teachers were just losing their minds when, you know, when their students were rocking. I don't know, I don't even think it was allowed back then to really go to school representing you know your favorite band when it, when it was a band like that wearing a shirt like that because i also remember that in the early 2000s well late 90s early 2000s especially in the states it was actually illegal to go to school with like i don't know mud vein slipknot shirts or corn shirts in some schools you know they didn't like it so i guess 40 years ago it was way worse everyone who was alive back then and is still living obviously uh please let me know 
how it was back then. You probably have a lot of fun stories to tell. And I think we are all excited to read those stories. So please let me know in the comment section below about your personal experience back then. Uh, it doesn't have to be with a journey, but just in general. I would really appreciate that. It would be something really interesting. Thank you again. Thank you, Rick. And if you also want me to react to one of your songs, please, again, check me out on Patreon. Links in the description box below. Also, let me know what songs I should react to next by Journey. But this was a journey. And the journey ends right now. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.